If you are transitioning from living a cyclical lifestyle to being pregnant, this video is going to be for you because I am six months pregnant and I lived my life only cyclically before this. So we are going to dive in in just a moment. If you're new here, hello, my name is Omega Zumpano. I am an exercise scientist and menstrual cycle educator and founder of one of the first certified menstrual cycle education courses for personal trainers to get certified to optimize and balance their clients' hormones using science backed research, baby. I also have a few other programs out there for people who aren't personal trainers. So make sure to click the link to below to find out more about those. And if you are new here, make sure to subscribe using the red button somewhere below this video. And next to that red button, you will see a bell and you can click that bell to be notified every time I post a new video on cyclical health, nutrition, and fitness. Make sure to like this video please, before we dive into it, that really helps this video reach more people. So cyclical lifestyle and cyclical fitness versus pregnancy fitness, how to go from one to the other and can you cycle sync during pregnancy? So cycle syncing is very specific. It was developed by Alyssa Vitti and it's a specific protocol to follow to integrate fitness and nutrition and lifestyle to the four phases of the menstrual cycle. And it's a beautiful thing. The thing is that when we're pregnant, we are not having a menstrual cycle. You don't want a menstrual cycle when you're pregnant. So the answer is we have to figure out something different. A lot of people say that we are most like in the luteal phase during pregnancy. And I do concur. We want to nest, we want to just do our thing. We want to uh, eat yummy food and things like that. Totally true, we are, it, it is most like the luteal phase, especially since we are just producing progesterone the whole way through. Lots of progesterone in the beginning to thicken the endometrial lining in order to make sure the baby has a nice placenta and a surge of progesterone throughout and in the third trimester that just makes time melt away, right? So in that way, we are very similar to the luteal phase. But then a lot of people think, how do we do nutrition and fitness throughout our pregnancy? And I know that a lot of people in the cyclical fitness world have designed their fitness to cycle syncing, to the four phases of their menstrual cycle. And I know that it can be difficult to get out of that mentality, but hear me out here. If you know what periodization is, that is the, that's basically cyclical fitness. You take the four phases of the menstrual cycle and make your fitness different throughout the four phases. We can do the same throughout a four week period, a one month period, a one moon period that we can in our entire menstrual cycle. So we can still do different workouts throughout the four weeks of the month that are similar to cyclical workouts that we have been doing. For example, this is how I've structured my routine. Uh, one week I'll do strength training, the next week I'll do more aerobic training, meaning I'm doing higher reps and lower weights. That's my week this week. And then uh, some weeks I train more cardio, and by cardio I mean walking right now, or sometimes I'll do the elliptical too. But I think um, let's not overcomplicate it, right? Uh, let's just, let's really pay attention to our bodies. I mean, one week I was really feeling strong and doing deadlifts and squats. And then the next week I was feeling like I didn't need that anymore. Uh, also the type of workouts we do are going to change. So in the first trimester, I was able to do barbell squats, barbell back squats. And now I am not able to do that at all, nor will I try. All the weight is hanging in front of me at this point in my pregnancy. Um, any Valsava maneuvers are out, but I don't want to get into the minutia of my workouts. Um, so just the, the overarching concept that I want you to integrate is the idea that workouts can still be broken in to four different phases um, and you can do different styles of workouts or different um, 
volumes of workouts throughout that period. So consider that and uh, don't get too fixed and locked into cycle syncing because that's a very specific thing for a very specific time in your life. The last thing I wanna talk about is just approaching fitness in general throughout your pregnancy. All of our bodies are different throughout pregnancy. I mean, the way our placenta attaches to our uterus, to the symptoms that we experience throughout our cycle. The most important thing is to tune in to what your body needs, right? There are weeks where you are not gonna feel like exercising, going to the gym, doing any strength training, that's fine. Move in ways that feel good to you. There are some days where I just do yoga and that's it. I think today is today is the day where I just do yoga. Maybe I go on a walk to get my steps in, but that's what I'm gonna do today. I don't feel like doing anything more than that. I did like 30 minutes of yoga this morning and I'll probably go for a walk and do some light flexibility in the evening. So approach it with a sense of compassion because a compassion for yourself and your baby starts now. That's something that I'm learning is that even the way my body is changing throughout this, I am exercising a lot of self-compassion. And I think that that is what women kind of lack towards ourselves a lot of the time. It's like we give our friend like ultimate compassion, but when it comes to ourselves, our energy levels, what we're capable of doing that day, we don't always extend the same compassion to ourselves. So chew on that a little bit. Um, again, cyclical or fitness, not cyclical fitness. Fitness should be something that you enjoy. So you might not enjoy the same things that you did prior to being pregnant. So uh, find new things that you enjoy, find new communities that you enjoy. If you like this video, if you thought it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have questions or if something stuck out for, to you like, oh, that's an aha moment for me, please leave a comment sharing that below. I'd love to hear about your journey too as a pregnant person. So please comment below and share that as well. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that like button or no, hit the subscribe button. Baby brain is a totally another topic. Hit the subscribe button and make sure to click the bell to be notified every time I make a new video on the menstrual cycle, or I guess a pregnancy now. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.